like I said earlier, I mean, we're talking uh, about how good sentiment uh, was on the market this morning, but suddenly it seems like things are turning around. I mean, what's going on in terms of sentiment uh, this morning? Are we just seeing a slow start? Yeah, which uh, we we quite we seen a slow start, no doubt, in the market. Um, don't forget the fact that uh, major markets around the world are actually trading, you know, in the red, you know, and our market is not, you know, disconnected from what the happenings of uh, in the international you know, arena, you know. I, I think that, um, you know, we probably will begin to see some um, red, you know, in the, in, in the incoming uh, days or two, you know. But I think that uh, above all that. Um, we believe that this, the key you know, drivers, which is the fundamental in the market, is still there. You know, I think there's really no cause for worry, even though the market is starting in a bit of the red you know, this morning. But um, we, let's see how everything pans out before the close of business today. And certainly, Baba, when it comes to offshore investors, I mean, we had news coming out on Wednesday that S&P is upgrading our credit, uh, sovereign credit ratings to a BB minus. So suddenly it shows the fundamentals are strong. What impact do you think this upgrading will have on offshore investors' uh, uh, sentiment when it comes to playing Nigeria's markets? Yeah, uh, that's a clear manifestation of the fact that um, the market is very robust. Uh, most of the stocks, you know, are actually chumming out very remarkable numbers. You know, I, I think that uh, they are seeing the numbers from the back, from the back screen, and uh, I think they, are, they, they believe that these numbers are real and that they are looking good. Don't forget the fact that uh, the five-tier one bags, if you put their PBT, sorry, PAT together, you know, is running well over about 267 billion on the on the Q3 basis. You know, I think they are seeing these numbers, and I think um, the rating is not um, you know a surprise you know, to the market. I think it's going to bring a lot of you know, offshore investment into the market as we go down the incoming week and months. Right. Well, let's talk about what's going on the market or on the market today. Certainly, Stanbic IBTC is delisting. Like you said, uh, its shares are currently in full suspension. What is happening there, uh, Baba? And, and of course, when can we expect the new holding company uh, to list on the exchange? Yeah, um, basically, um, only this morning we um, saw that the, um, the the stock of IBTC was placed on um, on full suspension. That clearly means that uh, the stock is not available for trading. And uh, by extension, this is a, you know preparation to the fact that um, they are looking at listing their hard cost you know, uh, company you know further down the month. You know, I think that um, you know investors may have to wait a while. Of course, we have the information you know, not too long ago in respect of the exchange ratios they are looking at, you know. And that's the fact that um, they're looking at uh, one for four. So if you have um, um, you know, five holdings, you're going to have one effectively, you know, down the line. And of course, the 50 cover di um, dividend to it. And I think that um, all in all, they're trying to see how they can, you know, rekick their, their share holdings so that they make it more marketable down the line. You know, I, I think that uh, it's not a bad move in line with the CBN directive of the fact that banks should have a niche, you know, um, player in the market, you know, as it were. Right, Obama. We'll co certainly continue to watch what's going to happen with Stanbic IBT shares. But let's quickly check in on some top perform per performers in the market. So certainly the building and material sector performing quite well. We saw Dangote Cement up uh, uh, performing uh, well yesterday. What's, what's happening with that sector today? Yeah, um, the, the sector is still trading a little bit flat, you know, like, like you know, um, still in the day. But Dangote Cement, you know, it's a cracker in the market. Um, they actually control over 90 percent of the building sector you know given their trajectory you know uh, uh, that stock is a very strong one their market niche you know and their earnings you know their earnings grew from um, I think about 8.7 billion in on a Q3 business to about 9.2 billion that's quite remarkable if you ask me and um, I see Dan Kote's men moving for that hope given the fact that um, they are a niche player in that sector a major uh, a, a dominant player in, in, in the cement business as it were you know I think, of course, whatever you know um, touches down with this cement will definitely impact on the entire market template. Again, don't forget the fact that uh, on, on, on a normal scale, Dunk with cement actually control well over 25 to 30 percent of the market cap in the market. You know, so so I, I think that you know from time to time we're going to see some movement on down with the cap. You know, down with the cap actually today well low, yellow of one one hundred twenty one or two, but as we speak. Is in 121. You know, I, right. I think that is likely going to go up for that. You know, down the incoming week or month. Okay, so we might see our market uh, performing well as uh, Dango to Cement goes up, and of course, we're also watching stocks like Owando, uh, still doing quite well today. I hear banking sector also performing quite well. Uh, we'll keep checking in 